Hey, what's going on everybody? This is a tutorial on how to get absolutely everything back. And I mean everything. We're talking about the old backgrounds, the old voices, the old music. And Eric and Ivy. Yes, you got it. So here's what we're going to do. So first, we're going to go over to VoiceForge, and I'm going to explain how you do this. So, um, again, I'm just reloading it again. I did a failed take of the, this tutorial, sadly. <laughs> but, anyways. So, yes, this part of the tutorial, only this part, Eric and Ivy are not included with this. But for the VoiceForge part, you are required to put in request the codes in order to access all of this. And these are the request link codes right here. Now, these codes have been out for years, so I'm not worried about anything. I'm not worried about showing them. So, here they are right here. And I'll screenshot them. Pause the video, screenshot, type, whatever you need to do. They'll, be in the, they'll, they'll probably be in the description, too. So, here's what you're going to do. We'll just use the voice, uh, I don't know, we'll just use, we'll use David, for example. So, you can just type in, ba da 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 so, yes, okay, and then you will click this right arrow on the corner, more tools, developer tools, <laughs> and then you should have it set to network and all. So then you will generate the voice. Enter some text here. And click the play button on KJ. Oh, I forgot. -E -E okay, that's just amazing. But anyways, when you first load up the website, you're gonna hang on. So okay, let me just explain this part first. So you're gonna click this, click preview not available, open a new tab. Enter some text here and click the play button on KBJCDEBHJKWEDRVI. So then you'll put that there. And then I'll load up a character. Um, I guess we'll just use we'll use me. We'll use me. So then you import it. Okay. So um, and then yeah, you could find it in there, but all you need to do is just put it, drag it in, drag and drop in there. And then it's and then it will magically load it. And then let's see how the results play. <laughs> Enter some text here <clears throat> and click the play button on K B J C D E B H J K W. Okay, that's the, the the letter spam is just amazing. So we're just gonna put eight hundred in there. And then yes, it does work perfectly. Oh, whoops. Enter some text here and click the play. Oh, yeah, so you got that. So now here's what you're gonna do. So if you click voiceforge.com, you're gonna get this part. So you're gonna click demo, and then um, you will see this thing up here. It says load unsafe. You'll see this little icon up here saying it's blocked for some of you, and you just need to click load unsafe scripts. They're not unsafe. They're totally fine. But I'm just gonna do one more test. We'll use shy girl. Um, testing shy girl. And then again, we do the same thing. The arrow in the corner. More tools. Developer tools. Again, you have to be on network. It's not console this time. It's network, and then you click all right here. So then, testing shy girl. Oops. Oops. Testing shy girl. So then you click the one that says preview not available right here. And then um, we'll open this in a new tab. Testing shy girl. Oops. Shy girl test. Testing, I guess. So then um, we'll delete this one. And then we're going to put this into here again. And then you'll click dialogue, upload audio. Oh, and by the way, every single piece of dialogue you put in here will save. So if you wanna uh if you wanna not have it, then you need to you're gonna have to go in and delete it. So yeah, that's just for FYI. So yeah. Put that there. Um no, that's it for the voices. So, well, okay. Let, yeah, you know, let's, I'm going to teach you how to get Ivy back now. So he, there is another website that you do need to get the Ivy voice back. It is called Retext Beat, this website. And now there's a bunch of voices here, but the Ivy voice is right here. And then you type testing Ivy. So then we'll put testing Ivy. 
testing IV, and I'll put that in. And then it's the same thing, the same thing. Okay, we've been doing all that. Um, then that, wait, no, gosh. Um, hang on a second. Um, yes, testing IV. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so, um, we are going to move over to my phone for this next part of the video, which I have already, which I filmed earlier today, so, uh, that's how you're going to see it, so, um, I'll see you in a second. Kale, on your phone, take it away. So now what we're going to do is, um, we are going to find, uh, I'm going to show you how to get the Eric voice back on my phone. You have to use your phone for this. So we're going to go over to here. And then it's this app called Voice Do Narrator. And it has this icon right here. This is the icon it is. It's called Vo Voz Do, Do Narrator. So you're going to go into this. And then, okay, here's just something that uh, that's not really important. So, um, wait, okay, so the Eric voice is right here. And then... Oh, wait, they have, like, all the voices here, so, like, I guess you can use this app, but, like, for most of the voices, but this is just how to get Eric back. So, I don't know, you just type something in, I don't know, test, this is Eric, and then you have to eat, and then you have to transport this over to your computer. So, um, I will just email this to myself, and I will be right back. So once you email it to yourself, we're going to head back onto my computer now, which is, uh, we'll be right there. We'll just, this is what, this is what I sent in, I think. So what we'll be doing is we will be putting this and we can call it Eric testing. And then it's, and then it's the same thing you've been watching me do. This, this whole thing. And then you put that in. And then, yeah. So, and by the way, what is better than, um, what's better in this than for Eric than from text to speech is that you can make him loud. You can make him, like, actually sound loud than in that video, the Scooby Gang robs the bar. I was using the from text to speech method, but, like, it wasn't loud enough. Yes, this is Eric. Like, you can notice the difference between that and the Eric in the Scooby, in the Scooby Gang robs the Rob's a bar video. Like, I don't really want to show the from text speech method because it's very inconvenient. But, I mean, if you really want to use it, I'll put it up in the corner. So, click up in the corner if you want. That is the way to get Jennifer back, though. I don't know another way to get Jennifer back. So, I'm just going to put that up in the corner right there. Alright. Go click on it. Okay. So, now we are going. Now, this part is honestly the easiest part. So we're gonna just, just gonna delete this real quick. So we're gonna so literally all you have to do for the backgrounds is just you have to click on the image. And if they don't have to load, all you need to do is just download the image and then click that. And then it's even easier. All you all you have to do this time, you don't have to click the dialogue or anything like that. You just and then it just imports and it automatic and they whoever saved all these backgrounds uh automatically had it so they all fit your screen for the most part except for like for this little white line up top but that doesn't matter but yeah then you can interact with the background well can't really interact with it you can just use it as a, but you can only use it like as a template though like like you see like you can't stand behind this desk thing like you could when we were originally using comedy world see so yeah, that kind of sucks the music's even easier to get back i'm sorry whoops <coughs> um Okay, so it's the same thing. I don't know, we'll just use this. Wait, I got I love this song. I don't know why. It's like one of my favorite songs. So then again, you do this. Yep, yep. Now I'll go to that. And then you will put this into here. Um, And then you put Action East Coast. And then, yeah, it should play normally. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Well, that is about it for this video, everybody. I don't think there's anything else I need to show you. That that is all you can do. There is no there is no way to import like actual characters into Beyond Studio. I know there's like these really, really complicated ways and like you have to like screenshot them and go animate remastered or something. And then you put like it's and then like you put like the character the and then you put like a business friendly character with like only face with like no facial except the mouth. It's really complicated. Uh and it's not worth your time because you can't even make them like physically run or anything like that. It's physically impossible. So, <clears throat> well, it's not physically impossible. It's just really hard to pull off. Now, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I will be using all of this for my future videos. The music, the voices, and the common world templates. I will not be going back to Go Animate Remastered, as you hopefully saw in yesterday's community post. I will not be going back to Go Animate Remastered anytime soon. Well, I will not be going back. But, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video. And I'm sorry I've been slacking lately, but it's gonna get better. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.